Hello there, my name's Rob. I'm just going to show you how to do a WBC roof, how to put it together. Uh, we'll start by going through the components. So you'll have two gable ends, uh, like that, and two sides, both of which will have uh, beveled sides on them, so they're easy to tell. Sort of a bevel like that. Um, the roof sections come in three parts, so you'll have two, again, with a bevel on, which are the top section. Then there's a middle section, which is just basically two planks of wood with square edges on. And then there's the bottom, which is again, two square edges, but it has uh, a drip groove in it there and there. So easy to distinguish those. Uh, you then have your lats, which go on the inside on there and on there. And they are two different sizes. So you'll have some long ones and some short ones, so two long ones, two short ones. And then you'll have the tin, which goes on afterwards, after all the roof boards are assembled. And then the last stage is the top board, which goes on, on the, uh, the very top of the tin. Uh, and then the two cones which go on the escapes there. So to start with, I'll just make two pinholes, uh, 1.5 millimeter drill bit. And the easiest way to do this is to drill dead center of that groove, two pinholes there. And that'll give you a perfect position for your nails to get in. So that's that. You then get your sides, and what you want to make sure is that the angle of that is uh, basically on the same angle as the gable. So when you look down at it, you can have a nice flush side on both sides. So you'll have flush side there, and then a flush side on there. So the angle bit matches that angle there. A little bit of glue in both the grooves. on both gables and then just slot them in a little bit of a squeeze to get them in sometimes but they'll go in same on this one it like that and then get your pack of nails which comes with the roof and you want to be using two one and a half inch nails in these that's that side done now when you pick it up, just make sure you have a good tight grip on that because there's no nails in that one and it could fall off. And then just flip it over. And then repeat on the other side. And we have one roof carcass complete. Next stage is the lats. Now to do this, you want to be starting on the gable and just put one of the lats like that and just mark it there and there just so you know where to center the short lat so it's a short lat on these first there you go little bit of glue and it's one lat up from the bottom so it's one of these underneath that lat there to give you your position and 
and they are fixed with one inch nails. And the same on the other side. With this one, what you can do is, is put the lat on the bottom first and just mark it with a pencil like that. Because obviously you're not going to have the short one to mark it. And the long ones won't fit in that gap. So again, glue. Okay, so that's that stage done. Next stage is to get these little laps in on the side. They should just slot in there nicely, just like that. And you've already got your position, your one lat up on there like that, so you don't have to worry about that. So just a little bit of glue, like the others along the bottom. It's quite important to make sure you do these at an angle because that timber there is thinner than that timber there. So what you'll end up doing is the inch nails will sometimes come through if you don't go through it at an angle. So just angle it a little bit. Same on the other side. And that's it, that's the lats done. So the next stage is to get the roof boards on. Uh, so next stage, yeah, uh, the first, first board you're gonna want is uh, the one with a slight bevel on it. And the bevel goes right in the middle there where the two angles on the gable meet like that, okay? So that will sit on there like that, equal distance either side. Just a little bit of glue on there. Now if you have a set square, an adjustable square like that one, you can just set it if you want it absolutely perfect on both sides. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll take a measurement of that one. And then what you want to be doing is down the centre, get your square. You can quite easily see the centre of that timber. Just draw yourself a little line, very faint pencil line, so that you know where you're nailing. So what you don't want is nails coming out the side of the gable. Uh, once that board's uh, glued on and you've drawn the lines, you want to be using the inch nails, three inch nails in each. Uh, the next one on this side is the one that's square on both sides. So just put that one on. It's worth putting just a little bit of glue on the join as well, just to prevent them from uh, spreading too much. 
and then just aggravate it a little bit so that the glue adheres to the other timber. There we go. You've already got the position of that one, so you can just line it up. Follow the lines that you started with down, and then carry on. And when you do this second one, it's worth just trying to almost use your hands as a cramp and just squeeze it together. Yeah, uh, next stage is the, the final board on this side. This is the one with the drip groove in it. So again, uh, put a bit of glue on the join here. And again, aggravate it on. And that's it. Uh, draw your lines, continue your lines down. And nail away. Uh, so that's that side finished. And now you basically just turn it round and it's uh, an exact copy of what you've just done. Um, so we'll put a little bit of glue on there. On the join. As you can see, that's where your other board is going to run. So I've put the glue on there and then you want to just glue the rest of the frame, the gable end and the side. And then put that on there like that. Agitate it in. You've already got your position again, so you can just level that up. And then the line that you've drawn on that first one, you can mirror onto this one. And that is the roof complete with the boards on. The next stage is to uh, nail down here. So what you want to be doing is uh, where you nailed the sides into the gable there, just follow that line up and that will give you the position for your center line. So you can nail all the way across there. Again, inch nails. So that's that side done. Exactly the same on the other side. And that's it. And that's the basic roof construction finished. Now stage is to get the tin on. That just fits on there like that. Slots on quite nicely. And then all you have to do is uh, get yourself a punch. So you'll need a nail punch. Preferably one that's got like a little point on it so you can make some divots in there. And you want to start right on the edge of the gable there. Just, just like that. And you can use the inch nails that come in the pack. They've got a round head on them and they'll look like that. And where you've made the divots, you can just drive these home. They'll go in quite easily.
And what you want to make sure of when you're putting those nails in, where the drip groove is there, you, you want to try and angle your nail back a tiny bit so it doesn't come out of the drip groove. Then repeat basically what you've done on that front edge on the side here. You only need three, so one, two, three nails in there. And then turn it round. And it's a repeat procedure on this side. And that's what you ought to be looking for, something like that. Next stage is to do the other side. Now if you have a pair of pliers, it's worth just grabbing the hold of the tin and just slightly bending it out like that so that the other tin slides underneath it and gives it a good seal. That's what you end up with. Okay, so the final stage is to get this uh, top timber on, on top of the tin. And that just sits equal distance like that. And what you have is two two inch nails there, two two inch nails there. And the position for those nails is the center of that gable end there. So the center of that. Now this sits flush with the end of the tin. So what you can do is get your adjustable square or just take a measurement, whichever, and just centre it basically where the centre nail is on that tin there. And then transfer that onto here, about 10 mil in. And then with your drill bit that you had at the start, just two drill holes. Just prevents the timber from splitting because the two inch screws are quite big. Now, on the underside of this, you want to be putting some silicon. Now, any kind of external silicon will do. And then you just start at the end, squirt it all the way down, like that. Place that on there, and on there. two inch nail and then just make sure you're in the right position you're happy with it and then drive it home and that's what you end up with like that next stage is you want to be putting uh, inch nails down there I usually do about eight so two four six eight and it just makes sure that the tin and the timbers seal up across there. Now you notice I didn't go right to the end on this, it's because it's easier to get about halfway across and then turn it round. Otherwise what you find is you're trying to sort of hold it and hammer it here and it, it just doesn't work. So it's a lot easier to do it by spinning it round. That's it. And then the final stage is to get those little 
cones on. So you go back over here. Place that on there and you can just eye it up. So centre of that hole in the centre of the big hole underneath. And then they're tacked in with these little gold pins. And there we have it, one complete WBC roof.